Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at another device running Linux, and this time we're looking at this guy right here. It's the Surface Pro 3 running Pop OS. And I wanted to look at this machine because this is the base model with four gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage, so pretty low specs, but you can get these super, super cheap now. So I wanted to test this to see how the touch screen worked, if it works with the stylus, if it works with the external keyboard. And I thought Pop OS would be a great one because it has that great power management and it's based on GNOME. So it's uh, kind of has an interface that is suited to touch screens. So let's get into this. If you have any questions along the way, let me know down in the comment section what those questions are. And if you decide you like this video as you're watching it, please consider subscribing and hitting that thumbs up. So now let's take a look at the Surface Pro 3 running Pop! OS. First, let's talk about installation, which was super simple on this device. You do have to go into the BIOS and disable Secure Boot and put it in a mode that'll let you install other operating systems other than Windows. Uh, you'll know you're in that mode when you start up the Surface Pro 3 and you see a red splash screen. Once you're there, you can install Pop! OS or really any other Linux distribution just like you would on any other computer and uh, everything worked out of the box. I didn't have to install any special drivers, even Wi-Fi, power management, all that stuff works great. Now, if you want more details on how to install Linux on a Surface Pro 3, let me know in the comments section. I'm happy to do a tutorial on that, but I'll probably only spend my time on it if enough people are interested in seeing that. So. Make sure to let me know. The Surface Pro 3 has a few ports on it. On the right side, we have a mini display port, full size USB, and then on the left side, the only port we have is a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. All these work great. Uh, like I said, everything works out of the box and these ports are no exception. Using that mini display port, you can hook it up to an external monitor. Hey, this is Future Steve. One thing I forgot to mention while I was recording the video was the webcam. I'm recording this segment with the webcam. This is the internal audio for the Surface Pro 3, so please excuse that. But the important thing is that it's a decent camera and it works out of the box. Uh, no drivers needed to be loaded. I just installed Cheese, fired that up, and it recognized the camera. This is the front-facing camera, and then I'll flip around so you can see what the rear camera looks like. And this is what the rear-facing camera looks like. Again, it's a pretty decent camera and works out of the box. So I do have the type cover for the Surface Pro and I wanted to test that on it and snapped it on and it works great. It's recognized right away, all the keys work and everything. And if you've used one of these type covers before, you know that they're not too bad to type on and it's no exception in Pop! OS, everything is recognized. Even closing the type cover will automatically put the screen to sleep on the Surface Pro 3 just as it should. The other peripheral I have is the stylus and I know the Surface Pro 3 supports different levels of pressure sensitivity so I downloaded Krita from the store, uh, loaded that up and started doing some basic sketching. Now I am no artist, but I did test different uh, pens and different pressures, pushed hard on the screen, lightly on the screen. It did seem to recognize that pressure sen sensitivity pretty well. It was very responsive to that, just drawing out little sketches, little cartoons and things like that. Uh, that was very responsive as well. It, it was a really good experience. And again, I didn't have to load any special drivers. The drivers were just loaded out of the box, just worked in Krita and that stylus works all throughout the operating system for dragging windows around, hitting buttons, all that kind of stuff. You can do full navigation with the stylus. Performance of Pop! OS on the Surface Pro 3 is great. Even with just that four gigs of RAM, navigating around, having multiple applications open, just day-to-day -day tasks was totally fine. I was able to go out to the Pop! Store and download all the applications that I use on a daily basis. Even some video editors, I'll get to that in just a minute here. And I also downloaded Steam to see if any games would work. So I didn't try using Proton to run any kind of Windows games. I just used games that would run natively in Linux. I did try a few games in Steam with varying degrees of success, and that's not a limitation of the operating system, but the hardware on this device. Basically, any 3D games are out the window. Those are not going to run well on this, but more basic games, 2D games uh, work fine, like RimWorld. I played that for a little bit and it worked great. No problems whatsoever. Games along those lines are gonna work pretty well on this. 
Last thing I tested was some video editing as I always do in all my reviews because that's one major thing that I do on my computers. So in this case, since we're on Linux, I tried a Kaden Live and Olive Video Editor. Both worked really well for 1080p. I was actually pretty surprised at how well they worked. I was able to edit videos, uh, MP4, H.264 videos at 1080p in both of those applications with very little lag. Things would get a little bit smoother if you use proxy files, but it's totally doable just with the raw files as long as you let some of the transitions cache out and things like that. If you want to do 4K, I didn't actually try it on the device, but in theory, you could do it, but you would definitely want to make proxy files uh, to run those on these, this device, uh, you're gonna have a pretty rough time doing 4K, but if you're doing 1080p, it's actually a pretty viable option. I don't think I'd wanna use it as my primary editing machine, but if you're traveling, need something to do, just some quick edits and things like that, it should work out just fine for you. So if you're looking for a tablet form PC to use Linux on, I would definitely recommend looking at one of these, buying it used on eBay if you can find a reputable seller or something like Craigslist or Gumtree if you're in the UK. Just, uh, you know, that way you can kind of try it out before you actually pay somebody for it to make sure it's working. So if you have any questions or comments, leave those down in the comment section below. If you have any recommendations on videos you want to make, like if you want me to make that tutorial on how to install Pop! OS or any other Linux distribution on a Surface Pro 3, let me know. If you like these kind of videos, please hit that subscribe button. This channel is 100% dedicated to Linux everything, all the topics are on Linux and all the content is created 100% in Linux with Linux native software. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.